Hello Scorpio, this is Soul Intuitive Tarot for Unique Souls. Welcome to my channel. Scorpio, this is going to be your general weekly focus reading for the week of uh, March 14th through the 20th, 2016. Before I begin your reading, Scorpio, I do want to express that some of the messages that come forth will resonate with some of you, but not all of you. But what I'm sensing for some of you Scorpios in this upcoming week, uh, we have the energy of the Five of Swords in the upright position. So some of you want to be dealing with some uh, mental, minor mental stress and conflicts um, associated with, uh, I would just feel the energy coming from others, uh, particularly uh, some of you may be dealing with uh, air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female. Uh, because this is a general reading, you have to stretch the messages into family structure, co-workers, uh, relationships and friendships as well. So I just feel that there's just going to be some sort of minor minor uh, conflicts and uh, some anxiety for some Scorpios this upcoming week. Um, overall, it's not bad because the five is it's minimized to, you know, it's not the 10, it's not the nine, and it's not the eight. So it's going to be minimum. But I feel that you, uh, for some of you that I'm reading for, you will endure some sort of minor conflicts and battles uh, coming in from others um, and then you know the fires always represent a loss so it could be that you get into an argument something minor and then uh, may lose the argument or the person that you get into the argument with they may lose the argument towards whatever the situation that you uh, are arguing about um, you know right versus wrong one of those situations so the emphasis is is that it's just minor anxiety and conflicts <clears throat> um, dealing with others this upcoming week for Scorpio. Recent past two weeks, yesterday going back to two weeks. I'm sorry, Scorpio. We have the Nine of Cups in the upright. So I like this card in, in the um, upright position, and it's in the passing. So some of you Scorpios may have technically enjoyed some sort of emotional fulfillment again uh whatever is close or significant to you uh you have to apply the messages towards that energy uh the nine of cups also represents water signs so you know like yourself some of you are dealing with situations uh possibly relationships since the cups represent love and relationships or in a relationship with another water sign scorpio cancer pisces male or female but i'm just picking up some sort of overall emotional happiness and um, fulfillment with this nine of cups anything that you hope for wish it was granted uh, for some of you just having a good time and this could be related to family members uh, feeling good emotionally about your family and you know also feeling good about your friendships or the people that you work with in terms of your work or career uh, I like that nine of cups it's in the passing so some of you enjoyed or in you know enjoyed a good time or a happy moment now, if it wasn't with, you know, a significant other or, you know, family, it could have been just you feeling good overall emotionally about yourself. OK, in the middle of the week, we have the death card and it's in the reverse major arcana, major life event. Now, the death card uh, is is I don't see it as a, a negative card, really. I like it, though, however, when it's in the upright. So with the death card in the uh, reverse position going into the middle of the week, there is something that some Scorpios are holding on to that needs to be released again. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to spend all day uh, and, you know, mentioning those things. You you guys know what it is. So if it's a relationship or an ending to uh, maybe an old thought pattern or a process that you've had, it's a holding on to that energy, uh, not letting something go that needs to be released. OK, so it's in the reverse. If it was in the upright, then I would say it's a releasing of that energy and then allowing new energy, um, you know, to come your way. But some Scorpios are holding on to something that needs to be released. Um the only thing that I can say is, you know, find a way to uh, try to release that. If it's bringing you anguish or if it's upsetting you emotionally, since this is next to the nine of cups, um, try your best to release that. And since it is next to the nine of cups, specifically, I'm getting a relationship that needs to be released and someone is not as reluctant to let it go. They're holding on to it. Maybe the hopes. See? The Nine of Cups, whatever you hope for, wish for, will be granted. But it's in uh, the death card is in the reverse and it sits next to that. So 
maybe that's what you're holding on to uh, the hope that something is you know like a turnaround uh, in terms of a relationship I'm specifically talking about a relationship all the other messages do apply outside of a relationship that there's a holding on to something that needs to be released by some Scorpios uh, this upcoming week all right tail end of the week uh, we have the king of swords male or female energy and it's in the reverse so there's uh with that king so this i feel with the king in the reverse and for me this is how i'm reading this card i feel that there is just as the overall energy of the five of swords um for some of you that i'm reading for dealing with mental conflicts and strife brought about from others that king of uh, swords at the tail end means this that definite overcoming of that energy so whatever you endure possibly you know the start of the week going into the middle of the week with the death card showing up then it's an overcoming all of that mental stress conflict from others and also too i feel that the scorpios again i mentioned that there is a situation and particularly with a relationship of an air sign gemini aquarius libra male or female so maybe this holding on to a relationship with an air sign is what i'm getting in terms of the death card in the uh reverse position and not really you know being able to release it uh so there is the extension of still holding on to that situation it's an uncomfortable situation for those that i'm reading for um all I say to you is just find a way to release something that needs to be let go. It's not resonating with you. So um, come to terms uh, with whatever it is that you're dealing with and be able to, you know, release it, be strong enough to release it. And once you do, it, it, it frees you up, number one, and then it allows new energy to come your way. Uh, so some somebody's holding on to a relationship that needs to be released. But they're hoping and praying that there's going to be some sort of turnaround in terms of that person either having a change of attitude or something going on. If it's not them, it's directed towards, it's you directing that energy towards them. Okay, so over, you know, overall, what is said and done, the energy of Oracle card that I have selected for Scorpio for this upcoming week we have victory so some Scorpios are going to achieve some sort of victory and possibly success so that could be you know within a relationship or a development of a new relationship for the ones who are single and looking this does not apply to the ones that I'm speaking of or have spoken of earlier that needs to release a relationship now there's not going to be no victory uh, and you hoping that this person either has a change of heart or attitude or if it's you directing that energy towards them i feel that there's something that just needs to be released and let go completely so that you can allow something new to come your way and the other scorpios that i'm reading for is that you may connect with someone new and you know if it's not just you know speaking about a relationship you just may feel going into this week victorious about something it could be a new job it could be um you feeling good about yourself just being victorious okay just keep that in mind just feel having that energy of just feeling empowered or something um but making you feel victorious some sort of achievement uh maybe there was a project or something that you're working on related to your work or if it's just a hobby uh if you were just working on a hobby and you've completed the hobby then you've you know you'll feel this uh this energy of feeling victorious that you've started something and then you've actually completed it okay so the messages could be stressed out to so many things but i just feel that some scorpios this week will endure and enjoy some sort of victor victorious moment okay so this is your reading scorpio for the week of uh, march 14th to the 20th uh 2016 once again i want to thank you for visiting my channel uh, i do want to wish you all a very safe upcoming week ahead until the next time i wish you all love and light take care bye